gonna try to do this alo. Thing on my baby's head again while he's napping. So very slippery. I cut some of the jelly out already. He will move, as you can see. He might even cry. Because he's just my crybaby. He even wiping it. So come on, let mommy put this on you. Relax. You know how babies think something so extra is going on and nothing is really going on at all. You alright? Come on. Whoops. Sorry, baby. I'm gonna cut my finger. So going to actually sit him on my lap. Lose the touch of mom. Still my duty one. This even still has aloe on it, so take it and rub it on him. They still stinky. He doesn't like this, as you can see. But I'm getting this plant up in this hay, my boy. He hates it. So now I'm just going to brush it through. Let mommy do this. I'm helping you. Okay? Let mommy help you. I'm like, girl, I don't want to hear none of that. As you can see, it like starts to make the. Hold on, so I let them see. As you can see, if he stays still, it defines the hair that he does have. <laughs> His little curls and stuff, see? What are you thinking? Okay, he hates it. He doesn't like me right now. So, Mia, come here, babe. So after I put this through the whole head, give me the um castor oil right there. Okay. Uh, oh, watch your arm back there. I will be applying some castor oil. Give me the right there, the bottle. The bottle. The bottle. Thank you. You're a good friend, babe. All right, Mama. Thank you. You know what? Um, hold on. Cause actually, you could put it back. Let me move this. So I'm gonna put some of this Jamaican black castor oil in his hair. Also, I use it for. Oh, good job. He had a burp in there. I use it for all of my kids. Um, especially with um, what you call it, cradle cap. Cause my daughter had it first, but she. Of course, it, it went away, and she didn't lose a lot of hair. She came out with a lot of hair anyway, so it wasn't really any effect. But, if you could see, my baby is closing his eyes. He's kind of napping. And I actually don't like to bother him when he's napping. Here, baby. Put that back behind the TV for me. Jemai, relax. Wait, watch out, watch out, watch out. So, this. Woohoo, that was fun. And as you can see his hair. And the castor is, I call it like a gummy feeling. Kind of sticky-ish. Why does your arm keep going back there? I don't feel like that's comfortable. Here, let mommy brush it and then I'll pick you up. So, I'm just going to brush it. I got dry skin on my nose. Come on. It's okay. Come on. 
I'm not trying to fuss. I'm not trying to make you fuss me. So I'm just going to brush it just to keep his hair moisturized at least because if it's dry, that doesn't help. Even if you don't think it's helping with the, what you like applying, um, castor oil to it or the aloe vera, still put it in there so his hair is not dried out because you don't know if it's itchy or whatever the case may be. And you don't want that for a baby because they can't tell you, Mom, my head is itching. So, I actually don't see any cradle cap sticking up, so I'm just going to brush it. He don't like me really touching his hair at all. But I put the aloe in there. I'm going to put some on his face. Stay still for me, baby. That's not going to happen. I was just kidding. Mama was just kidding. Oh, somebody wants to eat. Look at this fat one. Say, hey, I'm fat and I like to eat, eat. Hey. Hey, stinky poo. You see his hair sticking up everywhere now? But if you can see, oh, well, maybe not. Um, He has some baby acne on his face and his ears. So I take the plant and rub it on his face also. I'm going to show you before he really starts to fuss me out. Hold on, Popo. Or maybe that's too late. So, hold on. He doesn't like bobos too much. So that's the old piece. I'm not going to use that again. I'm just going to, this cut's very easy. I cut it just like this. So that was big, but just cutting it, it's gonna fall. I could just take the one side and cut the one side open. Ta da! And be careful, watch your fingers. And, oh, he's actually relaxing. I'm not going to move him, but I literally take this and just wipe it over his face. It stinks. It does stink, but see you guys. See ya. As you can see, he doesn't like it. it. Smells like feet, but I will be bathing you, so it's okay. But you see the shiny stuff? I literally just take it. And wipe it on my baby's face. He don't like it. Watch the eyes. Very gooky. It's okay. It's okay. Like what? What the heck? And I'm just gonna rub it in. It's alright. shiny it's okay baby he wants to eat so let's see maybe we could do a feeding you want to eat that boy you hear him saying yeah here come on come on so now he's eating but as you can see can't really see his ear but his ear has the little bumps on it also and I'm pretty sure it is baby acne because my other son had it so I just rub it on there see And 
right now he doesn't mind me rubbing it on him because he has his food. Ooh. Yeah, that hard suck. Hey guys, relax. Uh oh. Oh, actually, there is some cradle cap coming off. Whoa. Some days my milk will shoot out. This is why I'm holding it. It actually started shooting out. Have a great milk supply. As you can see, he's trying to nap now. So we will let him play the pretend game. Let mommy close up her stuff. Or no? No? Okay. He's, he's crying. Let mommy take it back out. <laughs> this is the guessing game. So with a baby, you play the guessing game until they know what they want and they learn how to talk. So for now, that's what I get to play. I'm going to take his little comb, the thinner side. It has some in it. Cause I was messing in his hair. But you're supposed to comb the opposite way. I'm just, you know, I don't. You want to do everything very light, slowly, and gentle with the baby because they're so fragile. Duh. <laughs> Oh, see, there goes a piece right there. All right, hold on, baby. Let's relax. I think he realized that I'm still touching his hair. Okay. All right, just relax, relax. Let mommy do it, okay? I just helping you. I'm tilting the comb back so that I can grab the cradle cap. And as you can see, it actually is grabbing it. I'm just going to wipe it on my pants. And you want the comb to be as close to the scalp as possible. Like, I'm about to be done because he's, he's doing all this. He does this a lot when he's eating. Sometimes it's because he needs to burp. So I'm going to pick him up right now. His hair. Oh, my gosh. My baby's hair. <laughs> and see how he has calmed down? We, I go through this plenty of times with him. So that's why I know that most of the time it's him needing to burp. I love my baby. I love all my babies so much. And that's why I don't understand. How can you not spoil a baby? They're the cutest, most fragile. Since it's parted, I just wanted to go in there with that aloe real fast. Come on, let mommy see you. Let your mommy see you, man. Oh, there you go. He did a burp. Good job, big boy. I'm about to stop because my kid doesn't like this, but when I see it, I like to do it. And since he doesn't have a lot of hair, which I'm fine with, it doesn't take me long at all. I'm putting his hair back in the way that I want it to be. My baby's hair is very gone in the front, you know. I would say thinning, but it's like gone. And my boy is still beautiful. He's so handsome. Oh, boy. Now I have a crying.
crying baby coming. All right, all right. So, as you can see. All right, go that way. You shouldn't have been jumping. Go that way. Oh, see, my baby has threw up. See, this is it getting hectic. He threw it up. He drinks too much. He had just eaten. So I'm trying this new thing where I'm timing him um, his cooking. What? I'm timing his eating. And how many times he eat? Because my boy would just eat, 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 eat until he throws up out of his nose, which is not good. Because he be choking and I don't be liking it. So, excuse me, last night I got to sleep through the night. Thank God. That's why I was so... I had a lot of energy this morning. So, um... Yeah, thank God for that. But, so he feeds, like, every, first it was every one hour, uh, every hour. Now it's, I mean, then it recently is, like, every two hours he wants, two hours he wants to eat. But now it's, like, mm, every three hours, I can say. So we're gonna, is it safe to say that every three hours, something on my back itching me. Maybe I need some aloe, but every three hours he wants to eat. Last night, he only ate three times. I was so happy. It was like 11, then at like, no, it was like 8, 11, then um, we could say like 4 in the morning. That was fine for me because after he ate for, from 4, he didn't wake up until like 8.30, which was awesome in the morning. And that's the time I'm already up and active. So that was great for me to not have my sleep so broken up. But... My little fat man rub the aloe on their face. Their skin gets so dry. Their skin is so fragile. They're so fragile. So I'm just going to cut the top layer of this. Because if you could see it, it actually kind of dries out the top layer. Because I use the top one. But the sides are still juicy. So I'm going to just slice the top half off. That's so I'm being very careful because my baby is right here. So, now it's dripping juicy again. He's going to be mad at me, but I'm going to put this on his cheeks. All right, now mommy rub your cheeks in. There we go. Cheeks look like they're getting some little patches. Which is normal because I get them. My daughter got them, so I know my kids got to get them. Well, not necessarily, but it's normal. So, yeah. So, I do the same thing. I take this, rub it on the face. I actually love aloe. You know, I like to put it on my face and everything. You don't have no bumps. Just dark circles, you know. Or two right here under my eyes. It just adds a nice shine, like a natural shine to the face. And then it's going to dry up. But, yeah, just rub it until it's in. If you do it every day, though, and then I'm going to try this new thing with the potatoes for my dark circles. Not that I care, but... That's all I want. I'm about to try the Curology, whatever that thing is. Because I want some glowy skin, and I don't want these circles under my eyes. Because I know how my skin looks without them. But, yeah. So that's my baby. He's smiling. Cutting my eyes. And thank you guys for watching my little handsome stinky poop. We are out. Thanks for showing up. We love you guys. Thanks for supporting us, watching us, like, and subscribe, man. You feel me? Thank you for all of that. So, it's time to go and be mom to my other kids because they're well and out. See y'all later. Oh, wait. Okay. Yeah.